Hello everyone! Today I'm going to make a new video in Nikloland. I hope you will enjoy this video. rather beautiful. It also reminds me of Heide Park in Germany. So Goldmine train had like 50 minutes on the choir line sign, but I think it was a little bit more. It was a bit strange how the operations worked, like uh, you get in, uh, in some rides you had to take the bags with you, but in this ride you had to put the bags aside. Um, well, when the ride was starting, uh, like the train was moving very slowly and they were checking the restraints as well, which was I think a little bit weird, but yeah, it worked, it was funny. <laughs> In like two hours, I was done riding all the rides, so now I have some time to make some nice videos. I just look at this. So inside here they have a roller coaster and it's also inside this building. The roller coaster is a bit similar like the old one in Europa Park. Uh, how was it called again? Hmm. Uh, Eurosat. Just look at these views, it's so beautiful.
So this is not just any kind of Ferris wheel. This is actually built by the manufacturer Schwarzkopf and this uh, factory is not existing anymore. So these Ferris wheels are not being built anymore. The nicest part about Alpenblitz is these hills over there. It feels like you're getting ejected out of your seat. I think especially for children this is very nicely made also just look at the theming it's just so beautiful well if I just look at this I feel like I'm more in Germany than I'm in France <laughs> if I thought I was overwhelmed by the beauty of this park then I'm even more overwhelmed by this beauty just look at this in which parks do you actually have these kind of nice views uh, online I paid a ticket for Nikloland. It was like 32 euros for one day. Today is a Sunday, 4th of June, and it's 28 degrees today. So it's not that busy today. And yeah, it's just great. This is just really enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. Today when I arrived at the park, it was like half an hour before it actually opened. Uh, there was only one uh, lane to drive in with the car, so there was a bit of a traffic jam. It's not, not that extremely crowded today. Uh, like the choir lines are like maximum half an hour or so. Uh, but yeah, driving in took a little bit of time to actually get there. I wonder how that is managed when it's uh, really full. Also, uh, when you get out of the car, you have to get in line as well uh, for a checkup of your bags and uh, you will actually get uh, scanned with a device to see if you actually have steel objects in your pockets. This also takes a bit uh, to get in. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bit different than in Holland, for example, or Germany. Like the security is uh, quite uh, heavy here. Also, I was not able to uh, film on the rides, it was not allowed, so it was sad, but uh, I will actually have nice off-ride footage. So what I also think is a little bit of a con in this, uh, yeah, in France itself, is like almost no one can speak English. And um, yeah, I was also trying to sell a few tickets or give away at the entrance because I had too many tickets. Uh, my friends didn't came. So um, yeah, for what happened actually was like uh, someone tried to tell me it was not allowed, but they only could speak French. Then there were like three employees and even a security guard uh, <laughs> to, to uh, yeah <laughs> spread the message to me. Uh, but yeah, we worked it out with Google Translate and uh, yeah, they were actually kind friendly. It's not that they were uh, rude or anything. So yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> it was a bit, a bit funny. <laughs> so what I actually think is special about this is these cars actually run on petrol like, like gas. Who's the king of Nickelland? Oh wait. It's me. <laughs> so I ordered some food. It's of course also important to eat. And I'm also very happy that you can also eat a bit more healthier. So I finished my salad. It was very nice. It was nice and tasty. And of course healthy. It's very nice also to have a healthier option just than hamburgers, pizza, uh, hot dogs, uh, fries or <laughs> you name it especially when you are traveling uh, multiple days in an amusement park. This is also something I want to show you, which is really nice, I think.
they actually felt you nostalgic here just look at this how beautiful this is it's so awesome they actually have scale models of uh, rides here look at this it's so beautiful Isn't that great having something like this in your house? <laughs> they also have really old playing machines. Look at this. this is awesome. Where do you even see this? So that was Nicolo Land for me today. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, it was a really great day. I could do a lot of rides and uh, the price was also not that much. The park was really clean and also just really amazing and beautiful. I even like it a bit more than the Efteling in Holland, but maybe some people think differently, but yeah, that's my opinion. See you in the next video. Bye bye.